Greetings, candle friends. I hope this message finds you in good spirits and in good health. At least, so far. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today we have something a little different for you. It's a candle haul, but it's one particular kind of candle. I just recently found a few, and today I found a few more, and I thought I would present a haul on a candle company that has completely fascinated me recently. Last year, you may recall, I was able to procure a few in this line, and I see with great delight that they have returned to my local mercantile this season, and they are perfect for both the autumn season and the holiday Christmas season, because you must remember, my friends, that in Victorian times, Christmas was a time of ghost stories and frightening spiritual, supernatural events. So yeah, so this line works for both. And so far I found four. I don't know how many there are, but I'll show them to you and we'll take a closer look at them. And they are from the company called Wix Apothecary. Apothecary being like an, a very old-fashioned Victorian drugstore. I have four. I have three in the two-wick form. Two-wick tumblers, I believe you call them. And I have one in a three-wick form. Three wicks. Now the scents are not extremely strange. They're not odd scents or unusual scents. They're very nice scents. But of course, it's the labeling, it's the packaging um, that I love so much. It's a very sort of creepy Victorian apothecary essence. So let's take a close look at each of these four candles that I have found. Now the scents, uh, I have them lined up here in the alphabetical, not alphabetical, but in the uh, numerical order. They, uh, they do have a number on them. This is number one, Essence of Fear. And just look at the labeling on this. I, I really love it. It says on the side here, powerful dose, frighten your enemies, bewitchingly scented candle, Smoky ash wood, amber spice patchouli with creamy vanilla spice and teak. Let me see on the top the label also. And this one uh, is a black wax to wick. And you definitely get that sort of wood, woodsy. Uh, scent with a definite sweetness. Is a, there is a definite sweetness here coming from the vanilla and the patchouli, but that is the, the essence of fear. Be very afraid. Number two. <clears throat> Sleeping death. A powerful spell. Pure dark magic. Scent description, spooky scents of cranberry, juicy plum with red apples, warm cinnamon, and golden nutmeg. This one is definitely a sweet candle. You definitely get like a sweet cranberry and plum scent from it with just a little bit of spice, just slightly spicy. Mostly this is a sweet fruit base candle. 
cranberry and plum. And you can see there also too with tumbler. Don't you just, I love the, um, the labeling on these. It's just so, so eerie and Victorian. All right, two more that I have. This one is number three. Zombie Brew. I remember I did have this one last year. Loved it. Uh, warning. Biohazard. 100% pure zombie. Better be careful what this candle will do to you. Spooky Emerald Greens. Pine Needle. Aromatic Fur fused with ambery woods and dark wood. Now, I love this candle. This one also is to wick. Green wax here, dark green, and definitely is a pine scent. You definitely get the pine in this, and you know I love my pine scents. Um, pine scent, woodsy greens with it, and again a bit of that that perfume note or oud note. Oud, I'm not sure how you say that, but. This is a nice one. So it's pine, but it's not quite Christmas tree because it's got some other things going on in there, but perfect for either the fall, the fall, or the holiday season. Now number four in the lineup. Earlier I lied when I said I only had four. I actually have five. I have five. Number four, three wick. I've got in... Uh, Dragon's Breath. Caution. Potent. Witch's Grade. Spooky sense of hickory. Vetiver. Or vetiver. Orange peel blended with black tea and spicy peppered cinnamon. And this one is most definitely a very spicy, spicy candle. You smell this one, you get... The cinnamon and the spices in there, and a very pungent orange peel. And it is orange colored, three wick, as you see there. I don't know about the tea, but as I said, it's very spicy, very orange peel. Dragon's breath, the magical ingredient. And finally, number five in the series that I have managed to procure. Quite an interesting candle. Siren's Tears. Bewitchingly scented candle. Rare oddities. Powerfully potent, so you'd best be careful when lighting this one to avoid the call of the siren. And what is a siren, you ask? It's a Greek woman, a sea creature, mermaid, winged creature that sits upon the rocks and calls sailors to their deaths. The scent notes on this frighteningly delightful sense of icy peppermint, evergreen, crisp ozone, and frosted aldehydes. And what is all the hides, you asked, as did I. It's, a, it's an organic compound that would have been found in an apothecary. And it is essentially a scent similar to almond. This one, a bewitching purple. Better be careful of this one. And it is uh, definitely a, mostly a mint for me. Mint and water, I would say the almond and the evergreen are definitely, you know, subtle notes here. It's much more mint and water ozone. Rightfully so for a siren, don't you think? So these are the five candles I have managed to procure thus far from Wick's Apothecary. And uh, I can't wait to burn them for this fall season and the winter season because uh, in my mindset, they're quite appropriate for both. Well, I hope that our visit will inspire you to visit your local candle discount mercantile company.
to see if they have any of these Wix Apothic Headache Animals. Because I'm sure, like most of you, they won't last very long. <laughs> Good night.